So eliminating radicals from an equation means we do not want any exponents that are fractions because those represent radicals. So remember the rule that you can square both sides of an equation or cube both sides or raise both sides to any power. And what we want to do is choose one of those fractional exponents. I'm going to look at the half first and see what we need to do to make that fraction become a whole number. So half um, times two is just one. And so that means we need to square this whole equation so that the half power will be multiplied times two and just become a one. So on the right side, we'll have 5x minus 1, no radicals. On the left side, by squaring it, the 2 thirds power raised to the second power will become a 4 thirds power. Now that still has a radical in it because of that fractional 1 third there. And so to change that to a whole number and remove that radical, we need to cube both sides of the equation. So on the left, cubing will change that exponent to just a four. And on the right, cubing will just give us 5x minus one to the third power. So your final equation should look like quantity 3x plus two raised to the fourth power equals quantity 5x minus one raised to the third power. We haven't changed the truth of this equation at all. We've just simply rewritten the fractions um, as whole numbers by first squaring and then cubing both sides of the equation.